Hi folks, greetings! In this tutorial, we'll be working with QGIS. We'll show you how to use the profile tool in QGIS to create an elevation profile, export it as you wish, and use this information in your other projects. Let's dive into it. As the first step, we need a DEM, so let's import it. To add the DEM, go to the Layer tab, and from the Add Layer, select Add Raster Layer. There are various formats that can be added to the software. But since I want to add a DM, and a DM is a raster layer, so I select the Add Raster Layer. You can also press Ctrl Alt R on your keyboard. Then, from the source section in the raster dataset, I add the DEM, and I let the options remain as default and click Add. The DEM was imported. Now I add a suitable base map to our DEM. For a better view of the study area, I add Google Earth image base map. And to proceed, we should install the Profile Tool plugin. So go to the Plugin tab, then select Manage and Install Plugins. In the Plugins window, make sure you've set it on All. Then in the search bar, search for Profile Tool. When you found it, click on it. The description and all info about the plugin appear in the right side. As written, this plugin is used to plot train profiles either from raster layers or vector layers. Then click Install Plugin to download and install it. It may take a few minutes, so be patient. The plugin was installed. Its message appeared, and if I turn it on or off, you can see it in the ribbon of the software. Now click on the plugin and open it. The Profile Tool window opens. On the left side, it visualizes the profile, and its options are on the right side. So, from the right side, first click Add Layer to import the layer to the plugin. In the selection, you can choose different methods to select the desired path. Which I set it to Temporary Polyline, because I want to draw lines on the DEM. Now, draw a line from any area where you want to create the profile tool, and then double click at the end. As you can see, the profile has been drawn successfully. You can change the profile base. In other words, our profile has been drawn based on height. You can change it to slope either with percent or with degree. Or turn on or off the interpolated profile option which will be less detailed, just indicating the height. It doesn't matter where and how you draw the line, it plus the profile. Finally, you can export various outputs from your profile. It provides formats like PNG and SVG, or DXF for 2D and 3D outputs. I saved the profile somewhere on my computer. In the table section, the line information along with elevation points have been specified. Here you can see the output as a PNG file. Also, the output as an SVG file.
Add to that, you can change the profile color too, depending on your favorite. You can also copy the data and save them either with coordinate or without coordinate. One of the great features of this tool is create temporary layer, which by clicking on the desired path along with the elevation points is saved as point shape file. It's been indicated here that the path consists of elevation points. So you can select the points you want and see what elevation they have. 